This tutorial will cover how we dress the Krishna deity. First of all, we put on his t-shirt. There's two types of tops. This type simply does up at the back. Get it on his arms. Just like this. And then we tie it at the back. Please don't put knots in the tops, um, you'll end up having to cut the braid. So we just do one single loop through. Alright, that's the top. Now each Krishna has a necklace. The necklace needs to be tied on. Don't do it right up tight against his neck. Do it a little loose. Again, don't knot this or you won't be able to remove it. Just do a small bow in the back. Now, this is Krishna's dhoti and the shawl is attached. This is to make it easier for you. So one side of the shawl is stitched on and the other side has a press stud that will bring it around like that. So first of all, we do up the waist. The waist is done up with Velcro. So centered at the front, turn him around and just tightly join the Velcro together. Now bring the shawl piece over his shoulder and down the side and around and we fit on the press studs. Snap closed. And that's that. His belt is stitched onto the dhoti piece to make it easier for you. Tweak the necklace if required. <clears throat> now, this is Krishna's crown. Krishna's crown is done up with a Velcro. If you ever need to readjust it, you open the Velcro and resize it. Krishna's crown has a peacock feather insert. Should it fall out, you can simply insert it like this down between the detail of jewels and into the card. Now we sit the crown on his head. And the trick to keeping the crown on is that the Velcro goes down underneath his lower bun here. So here's the bun. Sit the crown on and pull the Velcro down so it goes below that low bun. Just make sure that the beads aren't going over his eyes. Now Krishna's flute sits in his hand here. And he's ready, ready and dressed. Now I'd like to show you how to dress Krishna with the other style of shirt. So first of all, we'll undress him, lifting the crown up off his lower bun, taking out his flute. Again, this shawl has a press stud. Just be gentle with that and Velcro at the back. This is shirt style number two. This style <clears throat> comes down to a, B, a V in the back and gently lifts over his head. So here's the top. The V goes at the back and we gently Put it over his head, work it down between his hands, pull it at the back so that this is at his waist portion and then gently or firmly bring back the ties and tie it at the back securing it with these waist ties. 
Again, please never knot the braid. Just do a single tie like that. Now, part two, we can tie on his necklace. The necklace is optional. If you find it too tricky, then you can leave it off. But it does add a nice extra layer of bling. <clears throat> and again, just try and fix it using a simple bow. And just straighten it up in front. Now on goes the dhoti. Just pulling it tight at his waist and doing it up at the velcro at the back. Bring this shawl piece in between his hands down over the side and around to clip onto the press stud there. Now we can place his crown, again place it at the front and bring down the Velcro at the back. Let's just fold this Velcro so we can't see any from the front. There we go. If you get really into looking after Krishna, these Krishnas are actually can take ear studs. Now, these dhotis are slightly longer. They have this long piece, so it hangs down. So what we do with these dhotis is we bring this long piece in between his legs so that it sits over there behind his ankle. So it's just a piece like this, and we place it behind the front foot and off to the side. And there he is, looking all stylish with his flute. So these are the two styles of Krishna. Short dhoti doesn't fit in between his legs. Longer dhoti piece does fit in between his legs. Okay, so how do we get Krishna in and out of his box? First of all, you must always remove his crown and remove his flute. They sit in this compartment here. Now, we take Krishna and we stand him in there. His base is resting on the base piece of foam. With Krishna facing towards the end of the base of the box, we scoot the platform down, scoot the base down, and then once he's reached as far as he can, we keep tipping him backwards and then he can go into the foam just like so. Now, this is the easiest way that I found to get Krishna in and out. So then when we want to bring him out, we tilt him up again. When he's up about that much, we start pulling him back and the foam, the base can scoot under the foam and like that till he's out. So trying it again, and I would recommend that you try this a few times at home to familiarize yourself with the procedure. Put his circular base down, push it down like it's going into a slot. Once it hits the end and you can't push him any further because he's reached the box, you can start tilting him back. And as you're tilting, keep pushing him forward down, the base down. And that's because it needs to recess below this box. Now, as soon as he's securely in, crown and flute in this section, um, we just gently lift that up and fold it down. This box is good. It can hold a number of things. And in goes the cloth. 
and the standing cloth. Well, they can go there. Now we have other things that also sit in the box that I will show you next up. The box gently closes and latches shut. It's extremely important that the box is never left in the car. It can never be left in the heat, in the car, in the sun. Um, the paint itself is uh, main, malleable in the heat and it can and will heat bubble buckle and pit his skin so no leaving in the heat no leaving in a corner of your house where the sun hits it uh, always keep it out of the sun and out of a very hot car so let's open it up and bring Krishna out again Hold these boxes back. And we bring Krishna out by lifting him around the waist, tilting him up to standing and then scooting him down. And out he steps, just like that. Now we have some accessories that come with Krishna. We have this deep maroon cloth for Krishna to stand on. Please stand here Krishna. And then we have this second lightweight fabric to cover Krishna. So Krishna's been arisen from his box and he's here all ready to get worshipped. Now, we're also supplying a bell, which should be used to advise everybody that Krishna's here, that Krishna's coming. So when you open and close the deities, you would ring the bell. We also have a little jug, a little water pot to water, wash our hands with, and this bowl, which you can fill with flowers and bring to offer. The purpose of the water pot and spoon is to clean our hands. Using always the right hand, which is considered the clean hand, we take the spoon and we do one, two, three drops of water on our left hand and using the same spoon in hand, scoop and tip onto our hand three times. Now our hands are clean and ready to be used to offer flowers to Krishna. Final points to remember. Always take off Krishna's crown and flute before you stow him away in the box. Secondly, always keep the box away from the sun and the heat as Krishna's paintwork may become damaged. Anchor the crown with the Velcro below his low bun Use the standing cloth and the light cloth to cover him and always use the water to wash hands.